Adrenocorticotropic hormone, also known as corticotropine, is a polypeptide tropic hormone produced and secreted by the anterior pituitary gland. It is an important component of the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis and is often produced in response to biological stress. Its principal effects are increased production and release of cortisol by the cortex of the adrenal gland. Primary adrenal insufficiency, also called Addison's disease, occurs when adrenal gland production of cortisol is chronically deficient, resulting in chronically elevated ACTH levels. When a pituitary tumor is the cause of elevated ACTH this is known as Cushing's disease and the constellation of signs and symptoms of the excess cortisol is known as Cushing's syndrome. Conversely, deficiency of ACTH is a cause of secondary adrenal insufficiency, often as a result of hypopituitarism. ACTH is also related to the circadian rhythm in many organisms. In addition to its endogenous role, ACTH is used clinically as a diagnostic agent in assessing adrenal function, production and regulation. POMC, ACTH and beta-lipotropin are secreted from corticotropes in the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland in response to the hormone corticotropine releasing, hormone release by the hypothalamus. ACTH is synthesized from pre pro opium The removal of the signal peptide during translation produces the 241 amino acid polypeptide POMC, which undergoes a series of post-translational modifications such as phosphorylation and glycosylation before it is proteolytically cleaved by endopeptidases to yield various polypeptide fragments with varying physiological activity. Activity. These fragments include, in order to regulate the secretion of ACTH, many substances secreted within this axis exhibit slow, intermediate and fast feedback loop activity. Glucocorticoids secreted from the adrenal cortex work to inhibit CRH secretion by the hypothalamus, which in turn decreases anterior pituitary secretion of ACTH. Glucocorticoids may also inhibit the rates of POMC gene transcription and peptide synthesis. The latter is an example of a slow feedback loop, which works on the order of hours to days, whereas the former works on the order of minutes. The half-life of ACTH in human blood is about 10 minutes. Structure. ACTH consists of 39 amino acids, the first 13 of which may be cleaved to form alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone. After a short period of time, ACTH is cleaved into alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone and CLIP, a peptide with unknown activity in humans. Human ACTH has a molecular weight of 4,540 atomic mass units. Function. ACTH stimulates secretion of glucocorticoid steroid hormones from adrenal cortex cells, especially in the zona fasciculator of the adrenal glands. ACTH acts by binding to cell surface ACTH receptors, which are located primarily on adrenocortical cells of the adrenal cortex. The ACTH receptor is a seven-membrane-spanning G-protein-coupled receptor. Upon ligand binding, the receptor undergoes conformation changes that stimulate the enzyme adenylyl cyclase, which leads to an increase in intracellular camp and subsequent activation of protein kinase A. ACTH influences steroid hormone secretion by both rapid short-term mechanisms that take place within minutes and slower long-term actions. The rapid actions of ACTH include stimulation of cholesterol delivery to the mitochondria where the P450 SCC enzyme is located. P450 SCC catalyzes the first step of steroidogenesis that is cleavage of the side chain of cholesterol. ACTH also stimulates lipoprotein uptake into cortical cells. This increases the bioavailability of cholesterol in the cells of the adrenal cortex. 
The long-term actions of ACTH include stimulation of the transcription of the genes coding for steroidogenic enzymes, especially P450 SCC, steroid 11 beta hydroxylase, and their associated electron transfer proteins. This effect is observed over several hours. In addition to steroidogenic enzymes, ACTH also enhances transcription of mitochondrial genes that encode for subunits of mitochondrial oxidative phosphorylation systems. These actions are probably necessary to supply the enhanced energy needs of adrenocortical cells stimulated by ACTH. ACTH receptors outside of the adrenal gland. As indicated above, ACTH is a cleavage product of the pro-hormone, prupiomelanocortin, which also produces other hormones including alpha-MSH that stimulates the production of melanin. A family of related receptors mediates the actions of these hormones, the MCR, or melanocortin receptor family. These are mainly not associated with the pituitary adrenal axis. MC2R is the ACTH receptor. While it has a crucial function in regulating the adrenal, it is also expressed elsewhere in the body, specifically in the osteoblast, which is responsible for making new bone, a continual and highly regulated process in the bodies of air-breathing vertebrates. The functional expression of MC2R on the osteoblast was discovered by Isales et Alia in 2005. Since that time, it has been demonstrated that the response of bone-forming cells to ACTH includes production of VEGF, as it does in the adrenal. This response might be important in maintaining osteoblast survival under some conditions. If this is physiologically important, it probably functions in conditions with short period or intermittent ACTH signaling. Since with continual exposure of osteoblasts to ACTH, the effect was lost in a few hours. Synthetic ACTH An active synthetic form of ACTH, consisting of the first 24 amino acids of native ACTH was first synthesized by Klaus Hoffmann at the University of Pittsburgh. ACTH is available as a synthetic derivative in the forms of cosentropin, trade name cortricin, and synecdon. Synecdon is not FDA approved but is used in the UK and Australia to conduct the ACTH stimulation test. ACTH was first synthesized as a replacement for Actagel, a long-lasting animal product used to treat infantile spasms. Once relatively inexpensive, the gel became an extremely expensive pharmaceutical product after the acquisition of QuestCore by Malincrod Pharmaceuticals. Prices per vial have been as high as $36,000. Actargel has been proposed as a therapy to treat refractory autoimmune diseases and refractory nephrotic syndrome due to a variety of glomerular diseases. Discovery While working on her dissertation, Evelyn M. Anderson co-discovered ACTH with James Bertram Collip and David Lansborough Thompson and, in a paper, published in 1933, explained its function in the body. Associated Conditions Diseases of the pituitary, the gland that produces, among others, the hormone ACTH. Hyperpituitarism, the hypersecretion of ACTH in the pituitary, leading to secondary adrenal insufficiency. Addison's disease, the primary adrenal insufficiency. Cushing's syndrome, hypercorticism, one of the causes is hypersecretion of ACTH. Small cell carcinoma, a common cause of ACTH secreted ectopically. Congenital adrenal hyperplasia, diseases in the production of cortisol. Nelson's syndrome, the rapid enlargement of the ACTH producing pituitary after the removal of both adrenal glands. Adrenal leukodystrophy can be accompanied by adrenal insufficiency. West syndrome, a disease where ACTH is used as a therapy. Poise, through production of tyrosine hydroxylase and dopamine beta hydroxylase, which two enzymes comprise the biochemical mechanism by which norepinephrine and epinephrine are produced.